Hey, welcome to Darren Bernard's Poor Boy Craft. Today we're on location out by the creek behind the house. Uh, just to show you that you don't have to be inside doing crafts. You can be anywhere. Uh, when it hits you, you can just do whatever. You just let your brain work and uh, just have fun with it, making whatever you want. Uh, if you like what you see, hit that like button. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already subscribed and share with your friends so we can grow. Uh, today I decided to make uh, what's called a God's Eye. Um, God's Eye, Dream Catchers, whatever you want to call them. But uh, all you need, real simple, a couple of sticks. I myself, I use the shish kebab sticks. They're little and they're lightweight, easy to do. I've kind of cut the tips off of them, but uh, you can leave them if you want to. And I'm going to use some twine. Now you can get this twine at Dollar Tree. They come in packs of three for a buck twenty-five. Remember, if you're out in the woods, if you're opening things up, take all your trash with you. We don't need to dirty up the uh, outside. So, but what we're going to do, this is basically all we need. You get both of your sticks. Make sure they're about the same size. Go into the middle. And we're going to tie them together. Kind of loop it up. And tie them together. Real tight. Oop. Got my finger stuck in there. Just like that. And we'll take a knife and we'll cut off that excess. Just like that. About in the middle. Again, making sure that they're even. Okay. Then we're going to twist that out. Just like that. Now we're going to take it and loop it. Just like that. Then move it to the next one. Loop it. Same way. And keep on doing that constantly. Looping it around. And just keep on going with it. Alrighty, now we're almost done with the first leg of it. Now the trick is to make sure we you keep them tight as you're going around this. Okay, so we're gonna stop right here. So I'm gonna bring this out a bit, grab my knife, and cut that. Now I'm gonna tie this one off. And again, make sure it's secured tight. Just like that. See, the back side will look like that, and the front side will look like that. And I'm gonna go ahead and cut this right there now that's the center of your God's eye dream catcher and we're going to come out about an inch doesn't have to be measured just tie it off And again, with the same motion, going about an inch out. <laughs> Make sure you're going the same way. I was going the same way. I 
going to loop it under first. To get it to hold up. The first line is the trickiest. Loop it. Loop it. And then loop it. I'll bring all these out to the position where you want it. I'm bringing it to it. Just a second. Let's start that over just a second. Have my wife pause it for a second. Okay, got them one there. Uh, basically what I had to end up doing is cutting a notch in the uh, each uh, piece of wood to get it to go on there and stay in place. Simple little fix now it works all right when you're in your laboratory sometimes out in the woods you gotta or out elsewhere you gotta make amends and change the way you do things but We adapt and overcome. That's the great thing about being human. Adapt and overcome. Again, keeping everything tight. The tighter you keep it, the better it's going to look. We want to do this till we pretty much run out of uh, wood. Okay, pretty much got her done. We're gonna cut her down. Tie a knot at the end. Make a little loop to hang. And oh, let's try that again. Again, things don't work out often like you're supposed to out in the woods, but adapt and overcome. There we go. Do that one again. There you go. There you go. And you got yourself a little primitive sun catcher. Now you can put uh, feathers on it or you can look around in the woods and find leaves or whatever you want to hang on it. But it's just a little craft, or you can use yarn, different colors yarn, or whatever. We just used what we had and made a simple little uh, craft that is enjoyable to make and 
just to have fun with. So if you like what you see, don't forget to hit that like button and uh, share it all your friends. It's Darren Bernard. Have a joyful day.